everyone, uh, this is Spack the Retro Gamer again with another Let's Play for you. Today we're going to be playing Konami Soccer uh, for the MSX computer. Uh, this is an exclusive MX game, MSX game uh, released in 1985 by Konami and it's one of my favorite soccer games of all time. It's very simplistic, uh, but you know, being a Konami game, you can you can say that this is uh, this is a uh, predecessor to a uh, Pro Evolution Soccer Winnie 11 series. You know, it's a little exaggeration on my part to say that, but it's, um, it's a really cool game. It's um, my favorite game, uh, favorite soccer game from the 80s uh, when I have my MSX computer, my MSX1 back then. Uh, I played this for ages, you know. It was my two-go game for uh, when a little soccer fix. There was nothing better nothing better than this at the time and uh, so uh, let's <clears throat> I'm sorry let's take a look here as I uh, as I play a match between uh, the black shirts against the white shirts <laughs> uh, it, it's an easy game in the first stages uh, but it gets really hard in the in the later stages uh, of this game as you saw in the beginning it has uh, three stages three levels actually not stages three levels of, of difficulty and uh this is level one we're playing here uh, i'm i'm playing with the black team uh with the guys with the red hair against the the guys on a white team with the black hair um you know funny when i was a kid i used to uh um i used to play this game and uh, being Brazilian I would fantasize about the which soccer teams uh, were these and um, I would say that one of the black shirt would be the Atletico Mineiro and uh, the one in a white shirt uh, with the black guys would be uh, Santos because of uh, Pele <laughs> but um, well it is what it is very simplistic game you know there's no competition you just play a match and that's it uh, you can increase levels, you have five levels, uh, you can pick a team, there's eight uh, different colors to pick, you can change the names of the, the teams, they're, they're, by default they're Stones and Eagles, but so such a pain to change the name of the characters because you have to use a joystick, oh there you go, I'm going to score my first goal, there you go, one nil, Eagles. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it was a pain to change the names of the teams. I tried first time I played this game after loading the game on a tape. <laughs> That's how you used to play games back in the day, kids. Uh, you load uh, games on, on tapes. Um, but uh, I would, uh, I would uh, uh, try to change the names, and uh, it was such a pain. Uh, you, had to, uh, you have to move the joystick up and down to select the character. Uh, instead of using the keyboard to type the names of the teams you would like so and it was just for one match so it was no no uh, use trying to change those names so it's always uh, stones against the eagles um the team you're playing against the team the computer is playing um you're gonna see right now we have uh, 25 seconds left uh on the first quarter and um it's one new for me, let's see. So I scored another goal here. Oh, ow, that's it. You see the little arrow behind the goal? You know, uh, that's where you shoot will go, most likely, when you shoot uh, the ball on a goal. And uh, it was a very uh, simplistic way of, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, of, um, oh my God, he finished the first half right when I was going to score another goal. Jesus Christ. But anyway, um, second half, you have we're playing on the same side <laughs> yeah they, it doesn't change sides sides uh you can you can uh, try to score on the other side if you're playing a two-player match and you're playing with the team on the left um otherwise you're always playing uh from uh, left from right to left trying to score goals on the left side um and the computer is trying to score goals on the right side there you go oh my god is it a score uh there you go Another thing I really uh, found interesting about this game is that all characters look like Mario. 
<laughs> yes, you heard right. Uh, all characters, they look like Mario. Look, look at the mustache. And, uh, like, the, the sprites of the characters, they look like Mario's playing soccer. Uh, of course, this game is not designed by Nintendo. I don't think Konami uh, wanted to uh, make it look like Mario. It's just that uh, it's one of those funny things. Uh, maybe it was uh, how Japanese saw uh, video game characters back in the day, in the early 80s, when this game was made. But um, they look like Mario. <laughs> to me, they look like Mario. Um, what else can I say about this game? Well, I better find more stuff to say about this game because I'm, I'm deci I decided I'm gonna play five levels of this. Yeah, oh yeah. Let's see how I perform. I haven't been playing. I have played this game for ages. You know, I have the original cartridge. Um, I could play on my MSX too, but um, again, like I. Um, I mentioned before, uh, I'm playing this on a Raspberry Pi, uh, playing MSX games, because I could not connect my uh, my uh, capture card with the MSX computer, so it is what it is, I'm playing on the Raspberry Pi and it plays great, it plays just like the real thing, and I have the cartridge, I have, the, I have an MSX, and uh, it plays exactly the same. Um, so no loss here. Oh, so I, I just scored another goal. Let's see if we can score another one. There you go. Three nil. Yeah. First stage is really easy. Like, uh, first level was really, really, really easy. You know, after you get the grips on the game, you can score. You know, funny story. Uh, when I, I first played this game when I was a kid, uh, I, I could, I, I thought there was something wrong with the game. I, I tried to score. <coughs> I would, uh. I will come close to the goal, and um, there you go, four nil. Um, I couldn't, I could not score uh, when I was hitting the button, because you know all these games there are only one button. Like back in the day, it was everything was looked like Atari, only one button for everything. And uh, on, I, I used to actually use an Atari joystick on my MSX to play, and um, I would hit the the, the button and the character instead of shooting the goal you would pass to another character uh the player you would pass to another player and um i could never score the goal so i i brought the game back to the store and say look there's something wrong with this game um uh, doesn't work oh there you go i won four nil winner egos there you go little girl uh celebrating uh let's play uh, now let's play uh level two Let's pick different colors now. Now I'm gonna be, let's see. <coughs> Computer is gonna be uh, black and red, and um, I'm gonna be blue. So it's a uh, Cruzeiro against Flamengo. <laughs> if you're Brazilian, um, yeah, that's how I saw those games, those uh, those colors back in the day. Uh, anyway, uh, I would I would bring the game back to the to the store. I brought the game once. And I said to the guy, look, this game is not working. Okay, should, go, or should I go? And the guy, he probably never played this game before. He didn't know what I was talking about. He said, oh, okay, fine, get another copy, you know. And uh, just for the record, you know, back in the 80s uh, in Brazil, you cannot get this game original in a cartridge. You, you, you have a tape, and it was, a, it was a pirate tape the store was selling to you. Uh, and... So I got another one. He gave he gave me uh, he placed my tape. I brought back home, and I was for sure okay. This time, probably is gonna work. So I put the tape on my cassette deck. I load the tape, and then again I could not score. <laughs> I could not score for the life of me. You know, I would get close to the goal. I would hit the the button once, and then the 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 ball would pass to another character. And there was no instructions. You know, it's just a tape. This he had. Uh, he had instructions like uh, Konami Soccer to play the game. Uh, type load cast uh, on your on your MSX keyboard and uh, load the tape and play the game. That's it. Those are the instructions back in the day. So I uh, I could not could not score just like I did right now. 
it took me a while because, of course, we didn't have internet back in 1987, you know, I guess, when I was trying to play this game. We didn't have the internet, of course. Uh, nobody could uh, knew how to play this game. Uh, there was no forum we can go look at, no game facts, you know. We could have spoiled these days. <laughs> back in the day, you had to figure out how to play everything. And uh, it took me a while. I guess it took me maybe seven or eight matches I was trying to score uh, because at that time I figured out okay the problem is not the tape the problem is me I don't know how to play this game I have to figure out then I uh, by accident I, fi I, I saw that uh, I could shoot if I hold the button a little longer so if you do just a flick on the button button uh, it will pass the ball if you hold the button longer you would uh, shoot so oh there you go, found out how to play the game, then I was scoring goals, and it was uh, all fun, all fun. Oh my god, they score against me, Jesus Christ, okay. Alright, two, Eagles two, Stones one, Cruzeiro two, Flamengo one, that's, uh, that's how I see these. Okay, so, um, that was, uh, that was my experience with Konami Soccer back in the day. Now I'm going to be honest with you, of course this is a very outdated game, very outdated, but you know, as far as a classic, an 8-bit, you know, when you think this game is 8-bit, it was, it was, uh, it was only, it was made only with 32k of coding, alright, 32 kilobytes, this is really awesome, this is a really, really good game for the limitations it had, um, it, it, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I think it beats any other 8-bit soccer game uh, in the market you know there's no uh, NES game NES soccer game that I think it's better than this one um, I think the NES soccer like the black box uh, NES uh, soccer game it's very similar to this one uh, characters are similar you know the the way the game plays is similar you know with the little arrow behind the goal and all that, I, I think it's very similar, I would not uh, discard that maybe that game was designed by Konami, but uh, Nintendo, by commission probably, and Nintendo uh, just uh, sold as theirs, um, I, I could not find any information about it, you know, I'm just speculating here, but um, it seems to me that it was, it might be the deal, because it was very similar, oh, there you go. 3-1, that was a fantastic goal, you saw how I passed the ball to the middle and, and uh, put the ball back in the net, alright, so there you go, 3-1, uh, let's see if I can score more goals, <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, I think this game is very similar to the Nintendo soccer game, which is also a pretty cool game, but I think this one is better, even though the, the play field is smaller, uh, it looks like the other one has uh, the Nintendo version has a little bit better graphics. I think this is more fun to play. This is a lot more fun to play. I like the sounds on this game. I like everything about this game. You know, it was my uh, my favorite soccer game for a while, for until I got the Amiga. Oh my God! Again, three two. Are we going to have a penalty kick? Well, maybe. I'm not, I'm not gonna let Flamengo score another goal. Okay, so <clears throat> even though it'd be cool to show the penalty kicks um, on this on this uh, let's play. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I was talking about uh, being my favorite soccer game for a while. Yes, it was. Uh, the MSX had had tons of soccer games. Had uh, have, but most of those games were. Um, conversions of Spectrum games. Uh, Spectrum, uh, you had, uh, like, the, um, you had Match Day 2, which was also uh, one of my favorites. Uh, and honestly, uh, Match Day 2 on the MSX was uh, as a favorite as this one. You know, I'm going to be really honest. Match, I'll, I'll play Match Day one day. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it, it uh, is stand the test of time as well as this one, especially because of the graphics. But the gameplay on match day was pretty interesting, the way that game played. 
and it had competitions. That was the, the thing I liked the most about Match Day 2. Um, for those who do, do not know, Match Day 2 was a, a game uh, designed by... Um, What's the name of the guy again? I, I don't I don't remember right now. I'll, I'll remember. I'll mention his name. Uh, John Rittman. Yeah, John Rittman. John Rittman designed Match Day 2. And uh, <clears throat> for the Spectrum. And then later on it was ported to the MSX. And uh, it had competition. It had, it had a cup. It had a league. Uh, it, it was really cool. That was the part I liked the most about Match Day 2. And it was my second favorite... Uh, uh, MSX uh, MSX soccer game. The other games were, eh, not that great. Yeah, everything else was, was was garbage. And I'm a big I'm a big soccer game uh, fan. Oh, there you go. I want another one. Level two, five three against the computer. Let's see how how I perform on uh, level three. I think level three things start start to get a little uh, shakier. Let's pick uh, different colors now. Okay, I'm gonna play this time. Let's pick uh, the black guy with uh, blue hair is gonna be a computer team. Mine's gonna be the red with the black hair. <laughs> Back in the day, again, compared to Brazilian uh, soccer teams. Back in the day, this will be the red team would be Internacional, and the black and blue team will be Grêmio. Of course, so let's play Inter against Gremio. <clears throat> let's see how how do I perform. Um, but yeah, the soccer games on the MSX not that great. Uh, most of them not that great. This one is great. Uh, Match Day Two was great. There might be one or two games that I played uh, uh, for longer periods of time because I'm such a sucker for soccer games you know you're gonna see a lot of soccer games on this channel man uh, I guarantee you um, but uh, Gary Lineker did not port it well to uh, Gary Lineker games has this a uh, Michel uh, game with a Hispanic game by Dynamic you had uh, Emilio Butragueño which is also a Hispanic uh, soccer game you had a World Cup Mexico 86 uh, from Urbi Soft uh, from Spain, I guess. These are all uh, ports of Spectrum games on MSX. None of them are particularly good. Um, the Japanese side of things that we had, uh, Konami Soccer was actually the, one of the first ones, if not the first soccer game. Uh, you had a, a game, a soccer game from Panasonic, which is, was terrible. Uh, we had a Sega soccer game, which was also not good. Um, I'll be featuring probably uh, most of these uh, games on my channel. Um, actually, I have uh, I have an intention to make like a small documentary feature or something like that on uh, on soccer games um, for the channel. Oh. See offside, yes. Yeah, the level three, then you have the offsides. That's when the offsides start. I, I start to remember now. So, see, I just shot the ball to the front. That was a way you could avoid offside. <laughs> it was the first like uh, way to cheat on this game. So instead of passing, you just shoot the ball uh, against the enemy's goal, you know, from afar, and the ball will be uh, will be thrown to the front. And then if you're faster, you can you can get there. And score a goal. Uh, there's no button on this uh, on this game that makes the player go faster. They just uh, they just move at the same speed all the time. There you go. Oh my God! They go, they try to score against me. <clears throat> you see, in the back of my goal, we don't see the arrow going uh, up and down anymore, which is uh, makes things a little harder because I, I cannot. Oh, there you go. They score. Yeah, uh, without the arrow, you can you know position your goalkeeper in a in a way that you can uh, you know avoid uh, suffering the goal. So it's harder. It's harder to defend uh, level three and up. All right, let's go second half. I'm down one nil. There you go. Gremio is winning. 
Internacional 1-0. Uh, I was found cool. Like, see those little details. They could, they could put. There's, there's a uh, some fans crammed between the 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 side of uh, the wall, the wall, the side of the field, and the and the top of the screen. See, there's a little fans over there, <laughs> all crammed over there. You know, Konami could do some incredible things with MSX. It's it's amazing the number of uh, exclusives they had and uh, how well these games play, uh, how colorful they are. You know, those are definitely the best MSX games of all time. Uh, we'll be featuring every single Konami game um, uh, for the MSX on this channel. You know, my my favorite my favorite systems of all time. One of my favorite systems of all time. There you go. I, I could catch this one. Um, yeah, one of my favorite systems of all time. You know, MSX, the MSX computer. I never had an MSX two when I was a kid. I had the one back in Brazil. They never released an MSX two. My was. Um, MSX1, uh, it was a Gradiente 1.1 version. That was a pretty cool machine. And uh, I had that for three, four years. And uh, that was replaced by an Amiga 500. Uh, so those are the, the two machines I'm most fond of when I look back. And then I went from the, the Amiga to a... a DOS uh, and Windows 3.11 uh, 486 computer, and then it was all downhill uh, on the on the PCs. But uh, the MSX and the, the Amiga were were gaming machines. Let's be honest; those are those are computers designed to uh, to work as uh, consoles. You know, uh, very few companies use those seriously, uh, except for the on the Amiga. You could have. Uh, those video production companies, uh, special effects for for movies, you know, some of the more more powerful Amigas could do that stuff, but not much. Oh, I almost scored there from afar. <laughs> yeah, but it, the game is really tough, man. Uh, level three it starts getting really tough, but you know, I, I think I still can win this. Let's see. Oh. Jesus Christ! You know, it's very sensitive too. You know, when you get to, near to the sideline, uh, the ball goes out of bounds um, and you see you see those uh, the players flicker all the time right uh, you know because the MSX has a the a sprite limitation I believe four sprites per row so the fact that they could make these teams uh, six players each side and colorful like this like each player has three colors it's it's really remarkable there you go, my first loss of the night. Um, level three, I lost one new. Okay, let's uh, let's play another one. Let's do another one, level four this time. Uh, let's see. Um, man, I, I'm gonna do something ridiculous right now. Let's let's get those crazy colors going on. Uh, I have to use the one P uh, to move uh, the cursor. So let's put CPU as this a pink pink team here, and I'll be the white with a blonde guy. Um, this white with a blonde guy, white we used to say was either Fluminense or uh, São Paulo, and uh, the guy in the pink, uh, the team with pink, I don't know, <laughs> São Paulo maybe, I don't know, uh, a lot of São Paulo. Uh, Fans will be pissed at me if I say that, but uh, yeah, I don't know which teams are. The pink teams are the only one that we never, I, I, ne I would never use. Uh, I decided to use now because it's such a ridiculous combination. <laughs> this uh, white team with the blonde guys and the, the pink team. Anyway, this is level four for you uh, on Konami Soccer. Let's see how I, I lost. I lost the other match. Uh, so I don't th one nil right. So I don't think. Uh, let's see if I can fare better here. I don't know. Maybe maybe I, I don't think I'm gonna get any more wins from now on. But uh, yeah, the, the objective here is not win. Oh Jesus Christ! I almost scored from afar. Uh, the objective here is not winning matches. It's just showing the game. Um, that was a promise I did back in 2017 when I started this channel. Uh, I unpacked. Uh, my uh, 
Konami MSX cartridge. Um, and uh, I've, I've never came across and, uh, and played this game. And uh, I'm doing that right now, three years later. <laughs> uh, actually, I was, I was idle for a while on, on this channel. Uh, but now I'm back and uh, I want to be putting more uh, of those Let's Plays. I'll be playing MSX, Amiga, Super Nintendo, uh, NES, uh, Sega Genesis. I'll be playing a little bit of everything, man. PlayStation 1, 2, uh, PC. You know, I have a, I have a, a video plan for uh, soon with when I'm going to be building a, a DOS or a Windows uh, 95 or 98 PC. I'm still getting parts, so I can build a retro uh, PC like that. You know, DOSBox, you can run a lot of things on modern PCs, but I uh, I figured I sh we should uh, we should play on a on a real deal, like the older an older PC. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get parts. You know, it's not as easy as it used to be to get these parts these days, and they, they can get kind of expensive. I, I'm trying to limit my build at less than $200, um, ideally uh, between 100 and 150 uh, Anyway, uh, back to uh, Konami Soccer here. Well, I'm, I'm resisting, you know, first half, first half, I'm, uh, I'm still a new new, you know, the little pink team. Oh my God, are they gonna score now? Jesus, oh, I could block that shot again. Yeah, cool. Zero zero, half time. Let's go, São Paulo. <laughs> okay, let's not get too enthusiastic here. Um, there you go. Oh, jeez, are they gonna score now? Yeah, they they make some mistakes too. But my team is horrible. <laughs> Ah, Jesus Christ, I haven't played this game for quite some time, I'm, I'm rusty, you know, back in the day I could, uh, even level 5, I could score as many goals as I wanted, oh Jesus, look at that, 1-0, yeah, the lack of the, the arrow uh, behind my goal really makes things tougher, let's try to uh, get back at them quickly, I already lost the ball, uh, okay, all right, there you go. Are they go. Are they gonna score again? Oh yeah, man, the gates are opened. <laughs> two nil, stones two, eagles new. Um, other another, uh, you know, Konami did a bunch. Oh my God, I almost scored. You know, Konami did a bunch of uh, sports games on the on MSX. There's uh, Konami's Tennis, which is a very simple game, also very similar to the Tennis uh, black box game that uh, the NES got uh, when it was released uh, in America. Um, we had um, Hyper Sports 1, 2, and 3 on MSX. Now, those games are really cool. Um, Hyper Olympics, which is an arcade conversion, we have a version. We have one and two. You know, they could not fit all the events on the one cartridge, so they had to make two. Um, I have those cartridges too. We're gonna we're gonna be looking at them pretty soon. Um, there was Konami's Ping Pong, which was was not exclusive to an M to the MSX. It came out on other systems too. I believe even even the ZX Spectrum had a version. Um, but um, there were so many of those sports titles for the MSX uh, made by Konami that are really, really cool. Jesus Christ, 3 new. Oh my God. Yeah, man. Today is not my day to play any soccer game. Any Konami soccer, Konami soccer today. All right. Let's try to score at least one goal. Okay, guys? Let's, let's do it. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. All right, let's try it. Jesus Christ. My God, what happened with this goalkeeper? You know, he's catching everything. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try a set piece here. Ah, oh, Lord, almost got it. Yeah. You know, 
after you start playing this game for quite some time, you start to figure out like every nook and cranny that you can put the ball in and uh, and score a goal. Even so, you know, even uh, as simplistic as this game is, it's complex enough for its time. And uh, and uh, it's not one of those games that you can uh, always score playing, uh, you know. Um, how, how can I explain that? You know, there are certain games that, especially arcade machines, you, know, you can, you can like figure out a way. Oh, there you go. I lost three new. Let's let's try the last one now, level five. And uh, I, if you if you stuck to now, I thank you very much, because <laughs> it's it's kind of boring to look at eight bit games playing all the time, and uh, I'm not the best uh, at these things. I'm trying to find my foot here all right let's uh, let's do another match with the blue team against the white team this time Cruzeiro against Santos you know I played Cruzeiro twice today not good because I'm, <laughs> I'm not their fan but you know I like I like the blue team uh, on this game um, also uh, when I was uh, I, I, I was like um, like to pretend I was playing like a World Cup, Brazil would be the blue team. Uh, this white team would be what? Uh, I don't know. Nigeria, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, we, I appreciate so much if, you, if you're stuck to the last match because it's not that exciting and uh, I'm not... I probably am not as enter entertaining as I would like to be, <laughs> but um, here we are, and um, almost half an hour playing this, a little over half an hour. Let's see if I can, oh Jesus, you hit the post, oh my god, they score, one nil. I don't think I came back from one nil anymore. Not on level five, you know. Uh, I'll be happy if I don't get uh, score five goals against me right now. All right, let's see. Oh, that was a strong shot, but the goalkeeper was uh, in a good position. Let's see. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah. Look, look how they go. Oh, Jesus. They're going to score again. Nah, my goalkeeper was out of position this time. Uh, oh, well done, goalkeeper. Ah, just, just give a shot uphill. There you go. There you go, guys. Now it's the time. Let's see if we can at least have a draw here so we can uh, see some penalty kicks. Uh, Piano kicks in this game is pretty pretty interesting, uh, but uh, yeah, I just remember I was talking already about uh, arcade machines that you can you can like uh, memorize a certain position that it can be like a certain corner on the edge of the the box where you can shot from and score goals like all those Taito uh, Tecmo games you know SNK games all of them all of these soccer games uh, 16 32 bit soccer games they all had that it's so easy to score in those games you know I've played some of those machines uh, for hours and on, on the arcade and um, you know back in Brazil I live in the US now but you know in Brazil we had you know being a soccer country like everybody's crazy about soccer in Brazil almost everybody uh, we had arcade machines soccer arcade machines everywhere so as as fast as Japan would putting out those games we had them in Brazil and uh, and I played all, almost all of them you know uh, every time I saw a soccer game I would uh, I'll try it and uh, my favorite was uh, Tecmo um, World Cup 90 which in Brazil we got a bootleg version that had like the European club teams, which was really cool. And I played that for many hours and uh, I could score from anywhere. And uh, there was uh, there was some tricks you could uh, you could uh, apply to uh, make the game easier. I'll probably do a let's play on that on that particular arcade machine uh, sometime in the future. 
uh, I'll probably, of course, I'm going to be using MAME uh, to do that, but uh, I'll check how the status of the emulation that machine is, uh, because that was a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool game, but it was very easy to score uh, once you figure out uh, how to do it. Um, Konami Soccer, not that much, you know, you see there's, if you look at all these five matches I played, there's a lot of variety here, uh, for especially for an 8-bit game, a lot of variety, so... Uh, strongly recommend it if you're a 8-bit game sucker like I am. If you like soccer, you know, try Konami Soccer. You're gonna be, you're gonna be enjoying this for a lot longer than you think you uh, you would normally, especially uh, in 2020 when you have uh, the likes of uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 and uh, FIFA 20 and uh, all these, uh, even some of those uh, soccer games on. On the iPad, they look great, but uh, it's Konami Soccer, man. <laughs> so this is one of one of the first ones, one of the originals. This is like the great, 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 great grandfather of uh, Pro Evolution Soccer. So, and Mini Eleven. So you're welcome. Oh, there you go. Oh, you see, oh, somehow you scored that. You know, my goalkeeper was on the ball, but he still scored. Yeah, level five is not easy. Level five is not easy. Still, still, uh, I'm I'm holding pretty well. You know, only two goals. I'm only losing by two. You know, I was expecting to win all these five matches. I'm gonna be really honest with you, but I'm just losing by two, which is uh, not bad. Not bad. Um, there you go. Let's see. Are they going to score again? Oh, see, offside. The guy was way offside. My God. There. Oof. You see, there's no uh, option to run faster. And uh, on level 5, the computer will steal the ball from you really easily. But they make mistakes too. See, two uh, offsides in a row. You know, which is another very interesting thing about this game. The AI... <laughs> For an 8-bit game, uh, it's really impressive. There you go. Come on, guys. Five seconds left. Yeah. One second left. I don't think we can... Uh, that's, that's it. It's over. Yeah. Won the first two. Lose the last three. Okay. Well, thanks again, guys, uh, for watching. Uh, this is Konami Soccer for you. Uh, exclusive uh, soccer game from Konami from the 80s. And uh, I recommend. All right? We well, thank you again for watching. And uh, have a good one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Comment below. You know, all that, all that nice stuff. You know, visit our website. Stay until the end of the credits so you can see. All right? Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.